OK, so we got a little definition of the unit circle. And now we say, what are the points on the unit circle with 45 degrees? So first of all, we have our four major points. And these are your x and your y intercepts. Um, and these are pretty easy to figure out. Now, what I'm going to next go over is a little bit more difficult to understand. We also need a little bit of background of geometry to understand how we're going to find the rest of these points. So when I want to find other points that are on the unit circle, we're going to have to use a little bit of uh, our, base, our background in geometry to figure them out. So here's my four points. Now, I wrote down 45 degrees because that's going to be the next important point. If we know, if we remember that all the way around a circle, the degree is 360 degrees. So halfway around the circle, we say 180. A quarter of half of that is 90. So then half of that is going to be 45 degrees. Now, if I want to find out where this line is going to intersect the unit circle, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create a triangle. Now, I know right now that I have a 45 degree angle. So to help me create a triangle, I'm going to create a perpendicular line to the x-axis. Since I'm going to say it's a perpendicular line, that's going to create a 90 degree angle. Well, 45 plus 90 is going to be 135. Therefore, that means this angle also has to be a 45 degree triangle or angle. So therefore, what I've just created is a 45 degree triangle. And if you guys remember, those 45, 45, 90 triangles had certain characteristics. Now, for this triangle, we know that my radius is going to equal 1, right? And one thing we need to remember about a 45, 45, 90 triangle is that it's isosceles, meaning that this leg is equal to this leg. So if I want to find the distance, if I want to find the length of these triangles, because think about it, if you find the length of this, that's going to tell you your x coordinate. And if you find the height, that's going to tell you your y coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the uh, Pythagorean theorem. But rather than doing a squared plus b squared, these are the same. I'm going to use the same variable. So I'm going to say a squared plus a squared equals 1 squared, because my hypotenuse is 1. Therefore, adding them up, I get 2a squared equals 1. Divide by 2, I get a squared equals 1 half. Now, to solve for a, I'm going to take the square root, and a is going to equal 1 over the square root of 2. By rationalizing the denominator, I now obtain the square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore, you can see the distance of my x and my y is both going to be the square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, at my 45 degree angle, I could say my distance or my point is at square, um, square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And what you notice is if I'm going to kind of look at some reflections of these angles, I'm going to have that point is going to reciprocate all over my unit circle. So therefore, this point is now going to be negative square root of 2 comma square root of 2, right? Because since it's in the second quadrant, my x coordinate will be negative. Here, I'm going to have my x and my y be negative, square root of 2 comma um, over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And then this point, my x is going to be positive, but my y will be negative. Now, the last thing we just need to determine is you know, what exactly are these coordinate points. Well, if this is 45 degrees, if I add, looks like I'm just going to have to add 90 um, again to that. And that means this angle is 135 degrees. Add again another 90 degrees, and I'll have 225 degrees. 225 degrees. And then add another 90 degrees. And this angle, from going all the way around to here, would be 315 degrees. So therefore, if I wanted to find you know, these coordinate points, you guys can use all the way around to this point would be 315 degrees. The point on the unit circle is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those, there's four new points we can now find on our unit circle with their corresponding angles. Thanks.